Okay, thank you for joining today. Nice and uh, bright, early, good way to start the day. Uh, my name is Jennifer Bento Pinion. I am here at MIFA on the college planning team as director of MIFA Pathway. And today we're going to take about 15 minutes. This is one of our mini sessions and look at the, <clears throat> excuse me, look at the um, Mass State Benefits feature in MIFA Pathway. So just a couple of housekeeping items. I will keep everybody on mute throughout the session. Uh, we are recording this session. So as a follow-up, I will send out an email with uh, a copy of the recording along with um, some of our other resources. So you can expect to receive that. Um, also, this session is part of MIFA Institute. So you can uh, receive PDP points for attending this session. So let me just show you really quick. Um, if you go on to mifa.org, and this is our main page here, and then go to the four counselors section. If you scroll down a tiny bit, you'll see MIFA Institute. And then you can just click on learn more and then scroll down a little bit. And then right here, you can actually fill out your evidence of learning form right online and then keep track of those online. So again, don't forget to, to do that. Get your credit for attending the session today. And these are worth a quarter of a point. So 0.25 because they're just 15 minutes long. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we are, uh, if you're not familiar with MIFA Pathway, MIFA Pathway is an interacting, engaging, uh, comprehensive college and career planning platform. It's available for students in grades six through 12. So MIFA Pathway plays a key role in the Commonwealth's efforts around college and career readiness by increasing access to information about higher education and career opportunities and options for all types of students. So we know that each student's path and trajectory is different. Um, and MIFA Pathway is not a one size fits all approach to future planning, um, but rather it's tailored to meet the needs of our diverse populations. So this um, platform is free of cost. Uh, if you are uh, part of a school that would like to uh, potentially um, become one of our affiliates, we have 87 affiliate schools currently across the Commonwealth. Um, being an affiliate school allows you as the educator access to the counselor portal. So then you would have be able to see all the great things your students are working on within the site and help guide them appropriately. All right, so we are going to, again, just take a look at one little piece of what MIFA Pathway has to offer today. Um, you're looking at our main landing page here. So this is mifapathway.org. So as a student, all students um, create a, an account before, obviously before they can log into the system. So as a first time user, they would just click register here. Now the registration process is very simple. Uh, first name, last name, they just have to kind of follow the format, date of birth format. They would select the city or school, uh, excuse me, city or town that the school is in. So, you know, just let's say they, they're a student who lives in Chelmsford, they just click Chelmsford and then all of the schools that are in Chelmsford appear here. So they select their school. And then the subsequent pages, they create a username, they create a password. They do have to have a working email address in order to access the site. Um, so that is for if and when the student forgets their password or needs to um, look up their username. Um, they also create two security questions that they can um, also uh, reset that password and get their username by, by that means as, as well. So if you, uh, if your students are, um, it's up to you as if they use a school email address or personal email address, um, that's just, um, you know, a personal preference. Okay, so they get through that registration process, maybe takes, I don't know, two minutes, and then they have created those login credentials. So then they would obviously put their username and password into their, um, into the, for their credentials. And I'm going to log into uh, my test account here. And we're going to look at Alice. So Alice is a grade 12 student. So based on the year of graduation that the student put in when they were registering their account, that student would that will then see 
of uh, activities that are suggested per that grade level. So this is the student's dashboard. And as you can see, this, is, this shows the progress of the student last time they've been logged into the site. Um, and then as we scroll down here, you'll see those suggested activities that I mentioned. So as a grade 12 student, uh, they are encouraged to update their profile, which is ties into the resume piece, updating their course plans. Uh, maybe they're, if they finished a semester, they're updating their credits that they earned and their grades that they received. They're updating their goals and strategies, et cetera. And as they get to the bottom here, as you can see, these, these are uh, activities that are more appropriate for a grade 12 student. All right, so this helps the student just it guides them through their next steps through the site too because as I mentioned we you know this site we when we created it we, we made it so that it was intuitive to the students so they didn't need they don't they can come in here and 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 work through these um, these different uh, these different activities themselves but as the counselor too you know it's um, you know in the counselor portal you would you would be able to see all the student is working on within the site. All right, so let's move on to the Mass State Benefits feature here. So that the Mass State Benefits feature is located under the Pay for College tab. So we will look first at, so there are two components of the Mass State Benefits. So there's the Mass State Benefits, the main page, and then once the student starts creating different plans, that those are found under that My Mass Benefits page. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But what the student is doing, so we know that um, you know, many, many students, a, a great option and opportunity for them is to start at a community college and then potentially transfer to a four-year university. So what this feature does, it, it allows the student to select a community, a potential community college that they may start at. So let's just say our student lives close to um, Middlesex Community College, and it would be a great opportunity for them to live at home for a couple of years and go to Middlesex Community College. And then they are thinking that they might wanna stay in the area and transfer to UMass Lowell. So as you can see, all of the, all of the participating schools are within these drop-down boxes. So the student just selects. So once they select the community college, and the four-year university, that up pops uh, a list. So within the mass transfer program, there are three different options or programs that are offered. So we have the Gen Ed Foundation program, we have the A to B program, and then we have the Commonwealth Commitment program. So as you can see, as I scroll down, the student can assess the estimated savings for each program. So now the student will say, well, you know, I, uh, I would, I'd, I'd rather do one year at the community college and then transfer after the one year. So that's that gen ed program. They can also, if you click on learn more, this will bring them to, I'll show you, bring them to um, outside of the, um, the, the platform here to um, the mass transfer at their, that actual site. So if the student want, I'm back, I'm back in the pathway now. Um, if the student would like to save up this plan, they just click save the plan and then they can name it. I usually just keep keep this entire name here because it's it's um tells exactly what it is. And then this prompts them to where they will go next if they would like to, to use that. But now once I've saved a particular plan, it will appear on the My Mass Benefits page. So my, my student here, Alice, has been really looking through this, uh, this feature here, and she has nine saved plans. But as you can see, the one that we, um, the one that we just saved should appear, what did we do? We did, oh, we did the Middlesex to um, University of Maslow with the Gen Ed program. So you can see the program name, where they'd be starting, where they would transfer to. So all of the, all of the plans are listed. Now they can remove this plan too, if they like, um, if they decide, uh, you know, I, I think um, Cape Cod Community College isn't for me, I'm going to take that off the list and they can do that just right from, by clicking this little X. So now what the student can do is they can, once they start looking at these different plans, then they can apply these plans to uh, I, the college comparison tool and the college cost calculator. So the college compare 
feature is located under search for colleges. So I just click search colleges. And now I'm going to click college compare. And what the student does here, this is, this is perfect for when students are looking, uh, you know, they're doing that college search initially, but as they get in maybe to their mid to end of their junior year, and especially the beginning of their senior year, they're really starting to narrow that list down to call it to schools that they actually want to apply to. So the college compare tool is great for this because they can select colleges from their college list that they've already created and they can apply those uh, savings plans that they've created from their my state benefits and create a chart so they can look at up to five schools side by side and they can even use preferences they can set i'll just show you what this page looks like they can set and add preferences to the chart as well so i have one saved for you here let me um let me go down to the bottom here I've saved one to show you. The student can save as many comparisons as they like, and obviously, so many different combinations are, uh, you know, are are available. So they just click Show Comparison, and this is the last one here that I had um, that I made, and then, and I had applied two different savings plans that I had saved. So as you can see, we have the two savings plans. We have the three schools that I added: Bridgewater State, Central Connecticut State University, and Fitchburg State University, and here's the chart. So if a box is shaded in this light red color, it means that the, this particular area might not be an exact match for the student based on what they set for as their preferences. So their preferences are highlighted in this light blue column. And we'll just scroll down here. You'll see that we have um, undergraduate information, tuition information, academic information. So just to show you here, our student has um, between a three and a three five for GPA. And as you can see, this, this first school here, what was this um, UMass Lowell, um, requires a little bit higher of a GPA. So it might be more of a, of a reach school for that student rather than a target or a safety school. But as you can see, the student um, falls right in to this, um, these, other, these other four schools. So again, a great way for the student to look at um, you know, the cost savings, starting um, in a, a community college and transferring to that four-year um, four university. And the other, the other feature that the ma uh, MAS state benefits plans can be applied to is under the pay for college tab. So uh, the college cost calculator here, and this feature is uh, perfect to use for when the student actually starts receiving their uh, acceptance letters. So they've gotten their acceptance letters, they've gotten their uh, financial offers, and they can take those, those, um, those, those offers and come right into the college cost calculator, add the schools they've been accepted to, and then add in any uh, scholarships, grants, work study, uh, books, they can put a little estimate of a books and supplies. Um, so when they add a school in, the system automatically pulls in the tuition and fees. Now, if a student is adding there, as you can see, we added um, one of the, the Mass State Benefits plans here onto this, onto this um, chart. Uh, if, if a student is St starting at a community college and living at home and they'll want to take out the room and board because they won't that won't be applied so they can just edit that and take out the um, room and board because that's automatically applied to um, the chart but they can they can edit that out so the student it's a great way for students to see um, see the savings uh, by starting at a community college and transferring and also this college cost calculator helps the student make uh, an informed final decision of what their post-secondary plan will actually be. All right, so that concludes our, our session for today. Uh, I hope you folks enjoyed it. Uh, again, I will be sending a follow-up uh, email with the uh, recording of this. Um, feel free to share it, and you'll also have my contact information if you have any questions. And again, thank you for joining. Have a super day.